What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and today we have a little bit of a silly video or maybe it's not silly if you're deciding to pick this device up but this is a $30 Android phone, the CoolPad Rogue for T-Mobile and uh, is it trash? That's what we're going to talk about today. Well going off to the back you're going to see you have a brushed aluminum plastic design um, probably costs about a dollar to make but we have a 2 megapixel camera here and surprisingly you do have an LED flash which is shocking because things even like the Moto E don't even have LED flash and uh, this is a $30 smartphone although the Moto E has came down pretty much to that price as well and right here you have your speaker grill and I don't know what that is probably a mic jack going to the top you can see we have our 3.5 millimeter headset jack and this is pretty thick of a device a little chunky little chunkster <laughs> but uh, going on to the front we have a 4 inch WVGA screen let's power that on we have a 4 inch WVGA screen and uh, does have Android Lollipop and these buttons they do light up at the bottom which is kind of shocking because some phones three times the cost of this don't even light up but uh, going to the bottom just some more chunkster for you going off to the right side there is nothing there uh, actually there is something there's your charging port so at least it charges from the side of the device so if you're watching a movie it will like go like this out of the you know side not too much of a problem pop me off the back yeah at least it fits in pretty tight so quality doesn't feel that bad for the price it says cool pad right there I don't even know I'm not taking the battery out I don't think we really care about the size I think it's like a 1500 milliamp but you can see the camera lens there not too much although this doesn't look very nasty on the back and actually for the price I don't think it's too bad of a looking device but is this device trash well the cameras are trash I could tell you that there's a 2 megapixel camera and you're not gonna get great camera quality the screen is pretty trash this is like the first Android phones type of phone, but with Lollipop and, you know, maybe a MediaTek processor. I think it's a Qualcomm processor, actually. But um, we're not going to talk too much specs here. The phone runs solid for the price. I mean, probably better than those G2s or the, you know, the G, you know, the first, what was it, the Android G? I don't know what they called it, G1 or something. It probably runs better than that device did. But you can see, you do have a fully functioning smartphone here for... Uh, a very measly 30 to 20 dollars now it is a t-mobile smartphone it probably comes unlocked as well if it does come unlocked i'll leave the link down below in the description but yeah that's pretty much it is this phone trash i'd say yes it's trash depending on your perspective if you're somebody who's used a bunch of phones of course this is trash but it's probably an upgrade from something like this a qwerty keyboard phone or something like this your flip phone that you used to hang up on people with yeah yeah and probably something like this, your Motorola Razr, if you're still living in the land before time. So let's throw that out to the side. And uh, yeah, is the phone trash for $30? Well, it's probably a phone for somebody who just lost their phone and need a quick phone. They don't got no money on them. They just need a really fast phone just to get their, not fast and speed, but like they need to get one really quick just, you know, to uh, get the job done. This also could be a phone for uh, people who, you know, just, want to get it for their kids who are aggravating them this can also be a phone for somebody who wants a backup emergency phone just in case their you know flagship smartphone breaks this can also be a phone for you know children who are just beginning to you know mess with phones and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on those those uh, teenagers who are just going into high school it could be for somebody like that and um yeah, pretty much that's probably all the cases I could think of. Any cases you could think this phone is for, drop it down below. Is it trash though? Um, it depends on your perspective, but I'd say pass on this one. You know, if you can spend more money, do it. Even the Moto E destroys this phone. This is a pretty horrible product. I would not recommend this to anybody unless you just absolutely have to have it. This is the Cool Pad Rogue. Got to keep it real with you. Not recommended. And uh, that pretty much wraps up this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos. And uh, let me know what you think of this cool pad rogue. Are you cool rocking this device? And I'll catch you.